Welcome to the very first episode of Something Ain't Right. I'm DexDFX. This series will be short videos explaining things that sound correct to you, but there was always something about that explanation that just didn't sit right. In time, we forget and just brush it off as one of the weirdness of science. Now, that's not a very good way to learn, is it? Yeah, I thought so. First rule of DFX. If it's strange or weird, chances are your explanation is incomplete or outright wrong. Throughout this series, I'll be dropping more DFX rules on you. Collect them all. Three, two, one. Escape velocity. The quick explanation given is that this is the velocity an object or spacecraft needs to leave the planet. In many cases, it's referring to planet Earth, but not always. If a rocket cannot achieve this velocity, it will fall back down to Earth or the planet. Well, Taking that explanation, let's see what's so uh, weird about it. Look at a rocket at launch, and it's moving slow, but it's still moving away from the Earth. Just look at it. Even if the rocket is traveling only at 10 meters per second, eventually it will reach orbital height, the moon, and beyond. However, going at speeds below the escape velocity requires constant amount of force to be applied to the rocket during most of its journey. And this will require a very, very large amount of fuel, which will make the rocket weigh so much that it wouldn't even get off the ground. So, escape velocity does matter. When people talk about escape velocity, it's the velocity needed to leave the planet without additional force such as rocket propulsion acting on the rocket. In other words, unpowered flight. Now, it all makes sense. You can leave at any velocity, but anything less than the escape velocity will require constant fuel. Check out the link in the description if you want to get really down and dirty with escape velocity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more demystification of the strange and weird. I'm Dex DFX.